Hi everyone, today I will draw a still life with a cup of coffee and toasted bread. I think the still life uh, turned out uh, very bright and beautiful. As always, I drew a sketch with a pencil. As background, I use purple gouache and apply it. For all background, I use purple uh, violet gouache. Then I start drawing a mook. I use blue color. The mook will be with the color gradient. The plate will be darker and I to cross to the blue and draw the edge of the plate. I add some white paint and uh, stretch the color on the plate. I uh, lighten the plate uh, a little more with white. And also mix to cross and uh, white, I draw a gradient on the monk. Now uh, add highlights on the handle of the monk. And brown with addition of dark purple, I draw black coffee in the monk. Now let's move uh, on the crotons. We use brown as the main color. And uh, I add in or orange to create a uh, volume. And now I turn to the tablecloth. The color I will uh, use is beige. For this, I mixed uh, okra with uh, white and apply it to the dry surface of the tablecloth. I leave only areas of the shadow from the monk and spoon. Okay, now I added shadow and under the bread. I mixed brown with purple and uh, emphasize the bottom of each piece. And now uh, I draw the shadow from the tablecloth or towel. I use dark, dark uh, purple and add some black. I am uh, emphasize uh, with this color the right edge of the tablecloth and the shadow under the plate. I also add a shadow from the monk. Uh, the base is darker and the highlights, uh, highlights uh, the color of the shadow uh, from the monk. I uh, highlight uh, the adding of the monk into cross more saturated. Now let's move uh, onto the spoon for her colors. 
I mix purple, blue and white to get a grey with a purple tint. And uh, adding spoon shadow to mix brown with dark purple. And again back to bread. I use orange highlights, some areas for the play of light. And I also add some yellow. And for brightness I use gouache and neon colors, yellow and orange. After that I wanted to paint a crust of bread with a darker brown uh, which uh, the help of color we are trying to create volume in an object. With uh, whitewash I add uh, highlights on a spoon and uh, also I draw highlights on the mook. After adding highlights, it became clear that the color of the moon was too light and uh, I added the saturation with bright to cross and blue. For a smooth gradient I add uh, white. And now we added accent uh, to our still life. In our case, uh, this will be blue strips in a towel. I take my time and try to draw strips at approximately the same distance from each other. Really funny strips, I think. And one small strip. I think it will be three strip. Okay, and more strips in uh, shadow. 
and now I add the shadow under the plate and again I add bright accents to the bread this time I pick up a quite a, a thick neon yellow and do a few uh, strokes this will add uh, brightness to the picture a little more brown on the edge uh, to each piece a lit uh, little more brown um, yes and uh, with a mixture of blue and purple with white add shadows on the spoon itself I want it uh, to be more interesting in color now uh, glare first uh, on the spoon and half on the monk I uh, emphasize just a few strokes. Uh, with a mixture uh, of two cross and purple, I add a shadow on the circle on the uh, right and uh, on the handle of the monk. I uh, uh, darken the edge of the plate a little and white uh, color for a smooth gradient. I added a shadow on top of the towel with mixture of purple and black. And with uh, white color, I added a few highlights on the croutons. And uh, mixing uh, with the cross, we added a uh, slightly uh, translucent bottom of the plate uh, between the croutons. This complete our still life and I remove uh, the tape. How do you like uh, today this uh, tutorial? Do you like video with voice acting? Uh, be sure to tell uh, me what kind of videos I would like to make. It's very important for me. Also, I don't uh, forget to subscribe. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like uh, this video. I will be very pleased. Thank you for your attention and bye bye.